Ann here and today we have another car vlog. Today is Saturday. It is four o'clock on the dot and I wasn't planning on vlogging today. I did four videos for the beauty channel. I am very proud of myself. I got my Walmart beauty box in for fall. I got the BoxyCharm, the Ipsy Glam bag, and then I did a video about a month ago or so. I did a video of like eyeshadow palettes I regret buying but can't get rid of. So I did a video of like make of makeup products that I love that I use every single time I do my makeup, you know. And I did that. I also filmed a few things for Instagram. If you don't know, I have Instagram. It's just Ann Rankin. And I never post on there or go on there. The only time I go on Instagram, if I do like um, a video for my beauty channel, and I'll go in the stories and link it so you could just click on it. But other than that, like I never post anything in my feed in like probably over a year that I've been really active. And I'm back. So I did a few videos of like uh, lipstick try-ons and all that kind of stuff. And I do not use filters, never did, and will not use filters on Instagram or anytime I do makeup. Even when I vlog, I don't use filters or anything like that. I'm 47 years young and I mean, I'm just not going to hide it, you know? And if I do like makeup reviews, if I'm trying a lip liner on, I want you guys to see how it really looks, you know? So that is that. So check me out on Instagram if you are interested in seeing like, you know, little makeup reviews and, you know, like speedy things. Let me know. I have to go to Walmart to get, pick up a few things for Isaiah. And then I want to go to Wendy's to get my salad. I am wearing my Snap-on veneers. I did a review. I have not posted the video yet, but I'm wearing them, and spoiler, I really do like them. At first, I was talking with a little lisp, but now I'm talking fine. They don't hurt. I forget that they're in my mouth, and so I look at my teeth. I'm like, damn, they look good, you know? Uh, I really, really like these, but I'll let you know when I post um, that video. Oh, I'm wearing my ponytail. Do you remember when I did the vlog and I went to uh, the hair store and I got two ponytails? This is the one braid. So I just like have it on my side, but that's what it looks like up here. You know, something different. I wanted to talk to you about uh, this Eight Passengers. Uh, it's the, it's a YouTube family. It's a, fam a family vlogging channel. And um, she, they were very popular. They did a, it was called Eight Passengers Vlog or something like that. Um, I don't watch mommy vloggers or family vloggers or anything like that. And it's because my kids are older. We don't really have anything in common. I'm not raising my kids. I don't have any grandkids. So I just never found interest in that type of style. Um, like videos, you know. And... I also, I'm not against anybody that wants to put their kids on camera or anything like that. I mean, you do you. You know, I don't want anybody telling me what to do with my children, you know. But I just personally don't think it's healthy to put minors on camera. Because how do you know how they're going to feel when they get older? You know, I think back to, there's a reason why I'm bringing them up. But I go back to, like, if my kids were younger... And there was YouTube, or I had a YouTube channel, and I was still living in low-income apartments, or wherever, you know, if I wasn't married or anything like that. Would I be a vlogger? And I think I probably would vlog, because I'm vlogging now, and I enjoy vlogging. But it wouldn't be about my family. The only time you'd probably see, it would be basically about me and my life, like how it is now. But let's say I have to go to Walmart, and my kids are in the back seat, because I, I'm not going to leave them home alone. You might see my kids in the car then. Let's say I'm taken, because Lexi had ADHD, you know, and so she was very hyper, and I put her in a lot of sports. So let's say I, I take her to the park after school one day, because, you know, she's very hyper to get that energy out. Uh, you might, you know, we're going to the park. I wouldn't put the camera on her as she was playing, 
but you would see me go into the park with her you know let's say we all went out to eat you know I might you know show you the kids or whatever the case may be so it would only be that like I don't see anything wrong with that and that I would probably do but to show their everyday life I just don't agree with and let me explain why like Isaiah he's 19 and he does not want to be on camera I always blur his face or don't show him you know and he always says, Mom, I'm so glad you never put us on camera. Even my daughter, Lexi, let me get in a better spot where you can see me. You know, like my kids, you know, they always say, like, I'm so glad. Like, I would never want to be on camera or, you know, I, I don't know. Or when I see, like, God, I was going to say God forbid, but it happens. Like, when uh, um, a child gets their menstrual for the first time and all, like, I don't, or, or like, they're showing their punishment or they're in trouble. I, I don't think you should share that stuff. Like, I share stories about my kids when they were younger. My kids are adults. And before I post anything, I always say, hey, do, you know, I talk about this. Do you mind? And they always say, mom, I don't care what you talk about. But you know what I mean? But I only go so far. Like, if I say, oh, Lexi's over at her boyfriend's house, I don't say who he is or show who he is. Or, you know, I keep things personal um, with my children. And I've always said to you guys, you never know who people are. Don't I? I see these kids, not so much adults, but these kids, they idolize these YouTubers like the Logan Pauls and Jake Pauls and Ace Family and all these type of people. And it's like, you don't know who people are. So the eight passengers, they were a family, uh, I guess of eight. I'm not sure really who they are. I'm going to be very honest. I'm very ignorant to the situation. But I do know she was arrested for child abuse, her and her business partner. And I guess her kids have been saying for a while to different abuse. I don't have TikTok, but I guess there was like a video made where the one, he looks like he was a teenager and he was saying how he didn't have a bedroom for seven months and had to sleep on a sleeping bag. And, but then I, I, I'm not going to get too much into it because I don't agree talking about minors and I'll explain why. Um, I, but I guess what happened finally when the parents weren't home, one of the kids knocked on the neighbor's door that had tape around their arms or legs or what have you and looked very malnutrition. And I guess they called the cops and then, you know, what ha had happened. And supposedly for the past three years, you know, the kid's been trying to tell people and nobody was listening. I feel for these children that go through mental abuse or physical abuse and people don't want to get involved in their personal lives. And I just, the, the kids have to be traumatized because you still love your mother. It's still your mother, right? So you still have that defense. It's like, I can say what I want about my mother, but nobody else is going to. Y you know what I mean? It, it just, it hurts my feelings and I feel terrible for these children. And I, like I said, I know I'm talking about it and I'm bringing more attention to it. But my point more is, it just proves that when you watch somebody on YouTube, if there's a family that you like, or even with me, take it with a grain of salt watch me watch it more for entertainment you know that way you don't get let down or hurt if you find something out about somebody that you really really like it just breaks my heart for that family for the children I feel terrible and I, I've never really heard I've heard of them but I've never watched any of their shows because like I said that's just not my cup of tea but let me tell you, now this has, it's totally different, but when I was living in low-income apartments, there were these brothers, and um, they were about 10 years old, and they were bad, and so the punishment, their mother wouldn't buy them any, like, school clothes or anything like that for school. That was her punishment, you know? And what happened? The kids got picked on. Um, and their uncle sold drugs. And then being out in the projects, that's what you've seen. And so they figured at the age of 12, they, around 11, 12, they start selling drugs. And they were shown how to do it. And it was easy, fast money. And they were able to buy the stuff that they needed. 
then once they seen how fast and good the money was, you know, once they got a certain age, they didn't want to work a 95 job. They quit school and just did that full time, you know, and it, it was sad. And people judged them like when they would, I, 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 I remember I used to, when I, every time I cooked dinner, I used to give them dinner and all that stuff. Now, they're in probably their late 20s now, early 30s. One of them got shot in the head. He survived, but I had to get like a metal plate and stuff. And when I tell you they are big time drug dealers now in the gangs, I mean, um, people you don't want to mess with. Every single time I see them, hi, Miss Ann. They have so much respect. They are very respectful young men. They just didn't have a positive role model. They didn't have that man figure, that father figure, that uncle figure, that whoever, a positive role model to say, no, this is not what you do. Get a job. Let's do this. Let me help you. And I wish I could have helped them with clothes and different things, but I was struggling myself, you know? And now when you look at them, people are scared of them. If you hear their names, you know, it's like, oh, they're nothing but trouble. And it's like... I get so defensive, you know, because I know they're good boys, you know, and like with me, when I would get in trouble, I was so judged and it was just, I just needed that positive, I needed love. I needed a positive role model. And when I got pregnant at 18, which is still a baby, but you're old enough, you know, you know, but instead of being judged and being embarrassed about somebody to take me in and say, listen, you're going to finish school. You're going to go to college let me help you. No, I was like, oh, she's the black sheep or she, she's dating outside of a race or let's just, she's no good. Or I'm embarrassed to call her my family. <laughs> this turn left real quick because I, I, I just, I think that's why I was so quick to take up for Tira Nicole with her son. I mean, I would have done it anyway, but why I was so angry in that video. I hate what happened to those children. And it just breaks my heart. Especially if it was played out and people seen certain things and or their in-person people seen and did not do anything about it. Mm. all right so that's enough about that let me go in here and get a few things and then get my salad and um then i gotta get home i want i gotta edit my boxy charm to get that up for tonight i don't usually post on my beauty channel on saturdays but let me i'm gonna go ahead and get that up and um yeah all right let's see what we find in walmart <laughs> It is beautiful out. I'm getting a cart. It is exactly 80 degrees out, and it's not humid. It's just sunny. Like, this is beautiful, beautiful weather. I love it. All right. Uh, let's get in here and see what we can get. Let me know what the weather is where you're at. Now, it's going to be nice, but then I see in the next few days, it's going to be in the upper 90s again. It's like, ugh. Make up your mind, bipolar New Jersey. All right, so I'm just coming in, and they have Halloween stuff out. Well, I guess it's next month. Still back to school. I'm going to head by the clearance aisle. I have no business going there, but I don't know. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so I found this blanket that's only $12 right here. It's very soft, but there's a lady there. I didn't want to be too, you know, I have to come back if I remember. There's these woven, woven um, baskets that are on clearance for $4. I don't need them, but I can find something. $4? Even if I put like the dog toys in it. There's a lot of people in here. Kids, I guess school shopping because our school starts right after Labor Day so next week so they're getting their final stuff you know all right I'll be back 
Like, I don't know if I'm dumb, but I can't find any pretzels. Am I? What is going on? Let me show you. Like, I don't see any pretzels. Am I dumb? Don't answer that. What in the world? Like, I'm, I'm at the end. There are no what? None. What in the world? I'm trying to eat, eat like so. If I want a snack, I'll get like some pretzels. You know, it's better than nothing. They gotta have them somewhere. Let me see if I can find them. That's weird. Well, I am so embarrassed. <laughs> get my hand sanitizer. I spent $109 and change, so about $110. Now I gotta go to ShopRite and get hamburger meat because we have no hamburger meat. I need to go to the butcher store because tomorrow I'm gonna make uh, chili and so I wanted to get all the stuff tonight. Um, I am sweating. Uh, let me know do you, how you eat your chili and then I, I make it over white rice. Now Lexi likes just regular chili. But me and the other kids, we like it um, on top of white rice. Let me know how you eat yours. But I'm so embarrassed. So it's the first time that I use coupons. I'm starting to use coupons. And I go to the self-checkout. And then it says, okay, enter your coupons. And I did, and I put it in the wrong slot. I put it in where you put your money at. Because I didn't know. I guess there's a certain thing you put the coupons in, and it got stuck. Oh my god. I had to wait for somebody to come. They had to get like a little knifey thing and get it out and then finally it worked. I was so embarrassed. People behind me were huffing and puffing. <laughs> then they left and went to a different register. I'm like, and then once she showed me, I'm like, well, where do the coupons go? And as soon as she showed me, it's a little thing that says coupons. I said, uh, well, I didn't know. So I go to the smaller, um, Walmart so they don't sell like meats and stuff um, that's why I'm going to shop right but I didn't think about I didn't otherwise I would have went to the the super Walmart which is in the next town over but I'm like you know what I kind of want I haven't made chili in a while I made chili in the um, slow cooker crock pot which I need to get a new crock pot because mine is old and it takes forever to cook now so I know it's about time to get a new one it's probably at least 10 years old and they're not very expensive all right, I got the sun in my eyes. I will be back once I get across the street. I just got here and it's starting to get hot out. I don't know what it is. What It's still saying 79, so I don't know, but it's like the sun is out now. All right, I just gotta go in. That's the only thing I'm getting is hamburger meat. And I think, unless I get some fruit, maybe bananas. I don't know, I'll be back. Okay. So that was good. I only spent like 29 almost $30. That's pretty good. I got me my hamburger meat. And I got like a little bit of cheese and turkey, like lunch meat. And then I got bananas. Fit everything in this little bag here. $30. Okay. Uh, well, I was in a store and I seen the guy and he had uh, his kids, a daughter and a son. And the son looked like about 14, 15. He had a cowboy hat on and he had cowboy boots on and he walked like, you know, a jock, like he rides horses. And the girl too. And the guy, you could tell, <laughs> and it was... I, I don't know, I just love it. And you don't see that too often here because I live more in like the city. And I was like, oh, very respectful, respectful, see me come in and the, the, you know, the kid, the boy, he, uh, opened the door for me and said, you know, I said, thank you. He said, you're welcome, ma'am. And it's just, I, I don't know. I, I love to see respectful kids, especially fathers with their children because my kids didn't have fathers and my father died when I was six. So like, I, you know, I'm not used to it. You know, I don't. It's just nice to see. All right, so I got everything I needed 
to make my spaghetti. I got my coffee. I'm trying pumpkin spice. I don't really like pumpkin spice of things, but I'm going to try. I want to see what all the hype is. So, um, cause I like my death wish coffee. I think that's what it's called. Um, do I need gas? I should get gas. I'm going to go to Wendy's because it's 516 and if I even start cooking now dinner won't be done till later because um, you know the kids don't get home till like 11 11 well they get off of work at 11 so 1130 anyway um so I'm, I'm gonna get me a salad so I can hold me off and then I'll get gas And then I'll go home and then after dinner I'll show you what the dinner or the chip now I'm gonna make that tomorrow and then later on tonight maybe I'll say my goodbyes over a snack or something I don't know I want to start vlogging inside as well I know you guys liked it when I did like the house update and stuff so all right it's getting crowded because it's you know people are getting off of work and I do not like vlogging when there's traffic so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I look a lot different from my earlier clips. So it is the next day. It is the next morning. I already made my coffee. I've been drinking my coffee. It's almost gone now. When I went to Walmart yesterday, I tried, I usually get the Death Wish. That's like my favorite, the, the brand for my coffee. But I got the Starbucks uh, uh, pumpkin. It's not pumpkin spice. It's like pumpkin pie. And I don't usually like get stuff pumpkin spice. I get it sometimes to try it like um, the other day I went to Target and got cereal, right? Because we like frosted flakes, but it was limited edition like pumpkin spice, you know, just to try it. Anywho... So, I think the last, because I haven't edited the video yet, so I think I cut it off. I was on my way to get a salad, and um, when I was there, I could feel my sugar starting to drop. Now, I ate before I left, but that happens sometimes when I'm doing a lot of things or sweating or what have you. It, it, before I know it, my sugar, it just drops. I, I can feel it starting to come, and then it just, I, I get shaky and stuff like that. So, I just went home, ate... And um, then I edited my BoxyCharm video because I filmed a bunch of videos yesterday. I'm so proud of myself. And got that up. And then I just relaxed, you know. So I figured I'll just, and the, you know, the next morning, I'll uh, come on here. I am wearing my, I don't know what you would call it, like pajama shirt or like, uh, you ever have clothes like, remember when you were little, you had like school clothes or the nice clothes or the church clothes? And then you had your play clothes. These are like my play clothes. These are like the shirts, like if I'm going to be painting or dyeing my hair. I have about five of the same exact shirts. This is when my son was in wrestling. And some of them are all black all around here because, you know, I dye my hair black and I am a slob, a mess when I do my, my hair or anything. When I'm painting, I have those shirts. I have shirts like different clothes when I'm working outside. It's like that. So I have one of these shirts on. Because after I get done filming here, I'm going to go downstairs, start making the chili for the day. Well, for dinner time. Um, and I usually, well, of course, brown the meat and stuff. But then I put everything in the crock pot and I let it cook, you know, for hours, a few hours. Let it summer cook on low. Because I, I, it makes the house smell real good and stuff. And um, then I need to scrub the bathroom, the upstairs bathroom. And then, depending on how hot it is or the time, I want to do a little bit of yard work, get outside for a little bit, because it has been so nice lately, like literally in the high 70s, low 80s. Well, today is going up to like 90, and then tomorrow, like the next three to four days, it's going to be in the upper 90s, and then it's going to go back down. So, I... I and I love being outside, even if I just, like when I, I, it's like I'm always saying, oh, I'm doing yard work. It's not like my yard looks a hot mess. It's like I have to keep myself busy and I love being outside. And I bought a wheelbarrow, so I think I'm like big shit now. 
So like I, even if I'm just outside picking up sticks, cause we have a lot of trees and uh, in Jersey, we get a lot of storms and different things. So there's always uh, branches and little, th you know, always on the ground and all that stuff. So I just pick that up and it just gets some like vitamin D in my body, you know. Because it just feels good to be able to go outside, do yard work, without having somebody literally in your ear. Don't do it like that. Do it like this. Or you shouldn't do it like that. Or let me do it. Or you know what I'm saying? I don't know. So that is my day for today. And then later on, I'll watch church. But let me know what you guys are doing this week and how was your weekend because you guys probably won't see this till later on tonight. Let me do some skincare. Even now, I'm going to be sweating it off. <laughs> I always do skincare in the morning. So I'm going to start off with toner. I'm trying to use up the products I already have. And this is First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair. This is just about gone. I think I, it feels like I have about up to here. It's a hydrating toner. It has Wild Oat Hydrating Toner Ultra Repair. I got this in BoxyCharm. Or maybe uh, Iconic Box or something like that. I, 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 somewhere. I got these cotton rounds at Walmart. And they are the cheapest cotton rounds. Like, they, they fall apart. Like, I have to be very light when I put it on my skin. Because you'll get, like, cotton particles like all over your face you know um i already of course cleansed my face washed my face all that kind of stuff so and i go in with the toner because just in case you know you wash your face just in case there's any residue with the cleanser or anything like that because you could break out that way as well you know now i'm going in from the body shop this cbd serum i have so many serums so like i try to use different serums each time I do not have sensitive skin I'm very very blessed that way that um, I really don't have sensitive skin so I can miss mix and match my uh, skincare routine now um, I'm not a skincare specialist do not come here to learn anything I don't know exactly like what order you're supposed to put your skincare um, I do know that something's do I'm doing something right because I definitely see a major improvement with my skin. So, um, you know. All right. I'm not going to put, like I said, a whole lot of stuff because I'm just going to be sweating it off, but I just need something on my skin. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with this Blue Bomb Odyssey. I got this in an Ipsy, um, gift shop. Not gift shop. Uh, drop shop or whatever they call it. It's just about gone. I really, really like this a lot. I typically use this just at nighttime because it'll make your face look very greasy. And I like, I, it's so funny during the day. Well, I used to be like this during the day. I wanted to look very matte. And then at nighttime, I want it to look so oily, like hydrate it. Um, and that's what it looks like. And uh, now I like kind of like a dewy. I don't want to be so matte. But I, um, but at nighttime, like the oily, the better. I, there were times that my kids were like, mom, what are you sweating for? Are you okay? You feeling okay? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's skincare. Um, but I typically, like I said, use this at night because it really does make my under eyes and everything feel so hydrated. It's just, you know, make it look very oily during the day. But, uh, since I'm not going anywhere, like out to the store or anything like that, I can care less how I look. Everybody's at work. The puppy is sleeping. She always likes to sleep downstairs at the bottom of the steps here. If you don't know, I film in the attic. That's where my bedroom is. It's been converted into a bedroom many years ago. So when you come up here, it doesn't look like an attic. It has the old style because it was converted back in the 60s, I guess. So it has that old dark wood, you know. But, I mean, if you didn't know and you were just in here, it, you wouldn't be able to tell it was an attic, you know. Nala's on the bed. Wait, I don't know what you can see over here. Okay. All right. I'm going to, let's put this, uh, just some cream on. This is from Volition. I don't know how to pronounce this. And I got this again. I'm not sure on an iconic box or boxy charm. It's just about gone. 
I like this cream as well. I did my BoxyCharm unboxing and I was quite impressed with it. I mean, it, it, it wasn't like my best box I ever got, but I'm not using a mirror or anything. So I'm just like feeling my face. So I have no idea like what I'm doing. I, um, let me show you. I used up the other day. I love LMS products. It used to be back in the day, my favorite skincare brand. Um, and it's all gone. Like I used that all up. I really like this, um, LMS. Um, but see, uh, see key soul care and then, um, glow recipe and then LMS. They're my top three skincare. All right, and now I just need something on my lips. I got this on my BoxyCharm. It's this Aceology. I want to try this out, and then I'll put something else on my lips. And that's all. Like I said, I ain't going too crazy because I'll be sweating it off. This is like a lip scrub, it says, but let's see how it works. Yeah, I, I definitely feel the scrub, and it has a lot of oil to it, so I like it. And I always try to get right in here, too, in the corners of my lips. Let me just take that off, because I can't... I don't know how some people, like, they lick it off and all that. It's like, ugh, I'm just licking, like, dead skin or whatever. All right, now I'm just going to go in with um, Lips and Lather. They have a subscription box. It's really called Cut the Craps Organic. Uh, but they have a subscription box called Lips and Lather, and it comes with like a, a soap and a lip balm every month. So I, I really do like these lip balms. I use it all the time. That or, let me show you what else I use. I've really been liking a lot is from the Body Shop. This is a lip butter in mango, and uh, I like this as well. All right. That is everything. I feel good now. Oh, that's what I want to talk about really quick. Let's talk about comments. Um, because I want to ask you guys a question. I, I want you guys to be honest with me. So let me go to Just Anne's World, to this channel. So I put in the community um, yesterday morning, um, right here, okay, I put, it was early in the morning, and I said, how sad is this? This is the amount Isaiah's sperm donor owes me, almost 70K. Of course, they closed it out because Isaiah is over 18. I could have fought it to keep it active because they is still in college. Because that's true in Jersey. You can really keep it on until they're like 23, as long as they're still in school. Um, mom, 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 mom. Or maybe 19. I'm not sure. I know that they don't have to cut it off at 18 as long as they're still in school. I put, I'll never see a penny of this. The state of New Jersey has never locked him up. Isaiah is not the only child. He has six kids by four women. And Zay is the only boy. This guy owes hundreds of thousands of dollars. Sad and disgusting. And then I put the proof. Okay. Uh, he owes me $68,876.38. Now, I got a comment, which I'll put over here so you guys can see it. Let me go ahead and find it. What I find sad is that stuff like this has to be made public. Many of us have been in your shoes, but we find ways to move on and raise our children anyway. I used to love your channel, but ever since you and your husband separated, I feel like you have developed such a victim mentality. Time for me to move on. I put stuff up like this because, look, this is a lifestyle vlog. And I know people say, don't let comments bother you. And it doesn't really bother me to that extent. Like, if you want to leave, leave. But it's like victim mentality. No, I, I think my son really was the victim. Because having that extra $70,000 when I was raising him could have helped him. Maybe if I was getting child support like I was supposed to when I was raising my kids in the low-income apartments, maybe I could have put my children, you know, or Isaiah in a house and we could have rented a house or something like that. They didn't have to live the way that they lived, right? Like where they had to live. Um, I think putting these men, these deadbeat fathers on blast is what we should do. And there's a lot of people, unfortunately, that can relate. And there's a lot of single fathers as well that the mothers don't do anything. There's a lot of parents in general where the grandparents are taking care of the kids, okay? So I... 
I think it's more relatable. And if you haven't experienced it, if you're blessed never to have to experience that, to for your kids to have a father figure in their life or their father or a father figure, maybe the uncle, the grandfather, what have you. If you are blessed to get help from the father or the father's side of the family, that's a blessing. But not all of us did. And of course I raised my kids. Look how my kids turned out. Of course. I couldn't sit there and cry about it. I had to do what I had to do. My kids were well taken care of, but they could have been taken care of better. And I don't care if my son is 19 now. I want that money. That money still goes to my son. It could help pay off his college. And it's like victim mentality. Yeah, well, maybe if it is, then, then that's what it is. But it's like so weird. Like... My life is not perfect. I've always said it wasn't perfect and I have struggles. And here's the thing, it's a catch 21, right? Because if you show proof, like, look, I'm not lying, I'm really owed this amount of money, then it's like, oh, that stuff shouldn't be made public. But like, if I just talk about it and don't prove it, you'll have people say, well, how do we know it's true? But she could be lying about that. I mean, you, you see what I'm saying? You just can't win, but it's like, look, everybody knows by now on this channel, I share my personal life. And if it's not something that you're that you're interested in, then unsubscribe and click click off. I don't want to see anybody leave, and you know, it, you know, it, I, I don't want that. But I don't know what to say. It's not like I'm going to just stop talking about my personal life. There are a lot of vlog channels that go on every day and take you where they go out shopping and out to eat, and they act like they have this perfect life. There's a lot of YouTubers out there. That's just not me. My life is not perfect. I wish it was, but it's not. I got a lot of issues and um, I wish my mom was still here because if my mom was still here, I would have her to talk to, but I don't have my mother or my grandmother, right? And I have friends, but they all live out of state. I don't really have in-person friends that we can see each other and meet and talk. I don't have that. So I have you guys, not that I think you guys are my therapist, but it helps me out a lot, you know, and it's like when I see in the comments where you guys are owed all this money, it's like, you know, very relatable and it's like, all right, well, you know, I'm not the only one. This is why I always say we shouldn't judge people because you never know what can happen in your life. You never, ever know. Listen, if somebody didn't change, I've been on YouTube for six years, and I'm talking almost seven. February will be seven years, and that's on my beauty channel. If I didn't change, there'd be something wrong. <laughs> Nobody is the same. In seven years, you go through different uh, trials and tribulations and experiences that change the way that you think, the way that you act. I mean, that is just called life. And if I'm still acting the same that I did from day one to now, then I'd be a very fake person. I mean, I am, I am actively going through a divorce. That is heartbreaking and it's depressing and I feel like a failure. But at the same time, I am happy. I am mentally stable. I'm in the best mental state that I've been in in years. Does that make sense? So one day I might be all happy, go lucky, yeah. And the next day I might be sad and depressed. Like, it's just how it is. Even though I say this, I'm asking, do you guys think I share too much? I mean, tell me the truth. What do you guys think? Do I share too much? Let me know down below. All right, let me put this air, air conditioner on. It's getting a little hot up here. It's supposed to go up to 90 today. And then I'll say my goodbyes. That's another reason why I like the fall weather because it's nice up here. You know what I mean? It's like perfect. All right, guys, please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it, the house mat as well. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really does help out with engagement, even if it's just an emoji. It would mean the absolute world to me and to Nala. She's very concerned, can't you tell? All right, guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. That's just my baby girl. That's just my baby girl. <sighs> All right.